Google just opened its first ever physical store in New York City. Let's go inside and check this out. Hey Google, what Everybody time is it? No. We'll do the rest. Hey Google. Google. Google finally opened its first ever permanent Google retail store. The design is meant to feel a little more homey than the Apple stores, but maybe it's not fair for us to compare this to the Apple store, because after all, Apple generates most of its revenue from hardware products, while Google makes 80% of its revenue from digital ads. You know, the ads we see online and on YouTube. First reaction, it kind of feels like a Microsoft store, which was basically a knockoff Apple store, and they don't exist anymore. Yes, Microsoft closed all of its retail stores in 2020 after they had a hard time gaining any sort of popularity. You can actually get a Google Pixel phone for as cheap as $349. They really try and push out the Pixel phones. It also offers on-site repairs for its phone users. This is the gaming room. Overall, it doesn't feel that cool or unique. It's a bit disappointing. I'm surprised that they didn't do more of an immersive experience. It just kind of feels like a, a random room with uh, some computer games. Play yoga videos on YouTube. Playing yoga videos on YouTube. I can't believe that the tablet doesn't have YouTube premium. I had to just watch an ad. So what is it like to work at the Google store? It's really fun, really exciting. I get to meet amazing people like you every day. Um, I get to play with all the Google toys that they have here because I like, you know, fidgeting with stuff. Best of all, I get to be part of history. So I'm part of the first Google store, permanent Google store. Just being here is like, I was the first team to work here. So when I go up, I'm like, yeah, you know, I helped open up that store. <laughs> nice, and uh, you think we'll see more of them? I want to say yeah because um, we do get a lot of people coming in. I don't think we're gonna see more stores. Okay, so I basically said the word sushi and then it translated it, or it tried to translate it in a bunch of different languages. This is the Nest Hub experience room where you go through a scenario of someone who delivers something to your house and then you can ask for recipes to cook lunch. <laughs> the couch is vibrating, what the heck? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, so we just got a hypothetical delivery. Hey Google, show me front door camera. Someone just knocked. They were able to show me who was outside just by me saying, hey Google, show me the front door camera. Hey Google, show me some lunch recipes. Overall, this is a really disappointing experience. I went to Xiaomi's showroom three years ago in Beijing, China, and honestly, the stuff that I saw there was way more impressive than what I'm seeing right now. I I'm really surprised. Basically, I said, hey, Google, good night. And she goes, okay, turning off the light and lowering the thermostat, good night, that's it. Not everything was working. And basically, the whole experience of the smart home was really just about talking to your Google Home device. So it's kind of like a hybrid of an Apple store meets an AT&T store. Google is one of the world's most valuable companies in the world, and nothing was that impressive about this experience. I love Google, I love YouTube, I've had a Gmail account since 2004. I must have at least eight Google apps on my phone. There was nothing about it that left me wanting to come back. There was nothing about it that left me wanting to go to another Google store if they do open future Google stores. And I think that's a really big missed opportunity because again, this is one of the world's most valuable companies. They should be at the forefront of future technology, but I really didn't get that sense. As somebody who's been to the major tech companies headquarters in China, from Huawei, Xiaomi, Tencent, Alibaba, this store was really not that impressive. Overall, my take is I honestly don't think we're gonna see a ton of these stores just by the fact that, like I said, it was a bit underwhelming. The vibe was not as cool as what you get when you walk into an Apple store. And remember, Microsoft ended up closing a lot of its stores, so maybe people just don't really need physical stores right now. But I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. What did you think about this experience? If you're in New York, will you come and visit this store? While you're at it, subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and find me on Instagram and TikTok at Upton.